Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. In today's video, I will be making some very easy and fun Easter DIYs using mostly Dollar Tree items. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft. Starting with my first project, I will be using this Easter egg decor sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. Look how beautiful this is. So I'm going to leave it this color. Now I'm going to make some ears using this cardboard that I had. I drew one ear. After that, I cut it and I used the same ear as a stencil to make the other one. So after I was done cutting this, I felt like the ears were too big, so I did make them a little smaller. Using this burlap that I got from the Dollar Tree, I am going to wrap the ears. Now one thing I was going to do is I was going to wrap them in jute twine, but I couldn't find it. So I just used this burlap instead, which I actually love how this turned out. I had this extra craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I did the inside of the ears. I felt like this needed something else, so I used this rope to go around the inside of the ear and I feel like this made it look so much better. Now I'm going to add the ears to the egg. I'm going to flip it around and just glue them on the back. I will be adding some greenery because I do want to cover that little hole that the egg had but I felt like still this made it so much prettier. I added some greenery and this burlap bow. And look how beautiful this is. Now to finish this off I will be adding one of these word little signs that I got from this pack that I got from Hobby Lobby. The original price is $2.99 but it was on sale I got it for like a dollar and fifty cents but I'm using the word hop since it is pink and it matches the inside of the ears so I seen that I didn't cover the little hole and I decided to use one of these strings to add it through there and like push it to the back of the ears so this is going to be the little hook but that is it for this beautiful Easter sign
for my next project i will be using this beautiful dollar tree bunny decor sign i removed the string now i do want to cover the holes and to do that i am going to paint the inside of the ears so i'm first going to like draw them and then paint them using a purple chalk paint so i didn't shake this paint well that i thought once this was dry it was gonna turn lighter but it didn't is the thing was that i didn't shake it well so even though i did leave it this color i had to go over it using a lighter purple i felt like this was too dark i will be making a stand for the bunny and i'm using a dollar tree wood piece i did trace like the bottom of the bunny using a drill i made like the little uh, holes so it can like sunk in there and i don't have to use jenga blocks on the back before i glue the bunny i did paint this using the waverly antique wax So now I'm going to finish decorating my bunny. I am going to add some jute twine around the little inside of the ears. This also helped me cover the holes that the ears had. To decorate this some more, I will be adding some of this lavender pig. And then I made a bow using this Walmart ribbon and I added it in between there. Using the same Hobby Lobby pack, I grabbed the word bunny, which is purple, and I added it to my bunny. And that was it. Look how beautiful this bunny turned out. Before I move on, I do want to mention that I am a part of this Easter collab with these beautiful, talented crafters. There is going to be a link to a playlist down in the description box, so you can definitely go check them out. There is going to be tons of Easter decor ideas. For my next project, this is a sign that I was going to use. I got this from the Dollar Tree, but I ended up using something else. So I'm going to start by making some little ears and to do that I use this felt bunny and this jute twine wire cord. So the bunny I'm only using it as a guide to make the ears and I am going to start molding the jute twine cord. Once again, I'm only doing the ears. I made a bow using this beautiful ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now I only made like the top of the bow I didn't make the tail. So 
So like I mentioned earlier, I do end up switching the signs. I use this other Dollar Tree one. I added the ears and the Easter little sign, which comes from the, the Hobby Lobby pack. And that is it. Look how cute this turned out. My next project is my favorite one from Dollar Tree. I use one of the wood boxes and I only painted like the sides white. I didn't paint the inside or the bottom. Now I'm going to put the box to the side and let it dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to add this beautiful ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and add some little bows to these Dollar Tree plastic jars. And look how cute these look. Now I'm going to add a jelly beans to one of them. I'm adding these jelly beans and to the other one, I'm adding some like gum, but they look like jelly beans. So now going back to the box, I'm going to add this jelly bean sign that I got from the little bag that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that is it. We're going to add the little jars inside the tray and look how cute this turned out. So that is it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. Don't forget to go check out the link down in the description box and in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.